Okay, so we were talking about joints, right? We have uh, done a lot of things on the joints. So what is the first join? Canonical, Canonical join or Cartesian join, right? So basically this join is when you do not have a joint condition. A joint condition means that you have some joint compatible attribute like you have foreign key. If you have a foreign key means uh, that or not necessarily a foreign key but something a key you know which is in one field common to the other field. I mean we have two tables okay there is one attribute here say for example here is department ID and I'm having another table we have also a department ID there. It could have a different name which is a department ID here it is here it has written D hash name could be different but uh, they, they will have the same domain so we can join uh, from these two tables on the base of this attribute right uh, but if we do not have you know such field on which we could join so in that cases we can do a very simple join that is called a Cartesian join or canonical join it is same as cross multiplication uh, what was that called Cartesian product, Cartesian product. Cartesian product does what? What does Cartesian product does? Uh, yes, I, we have given an example of C1 and C2 and here we had a lot of things, right? Uh, there is A, B, C, D, whatever. So C1 is multiplied with everyone, right? And then C2 is multiplied with everyone. So net, net result will be a big table which have three you know uh, because if it has Two times. yes n cross m if it's an n degree or arity it has an m degree as arity and the table will have n cross m arity so here we will have a a's say for example these are a's and b's okay a's and b's this is a1 b1 a2 b2 okay this is a3 b3 a4 b4 so what does the Cartesian product does it combines everything, huh? A1, P1 with C1, then A2, B2 with C1, and so on up to A4, B4 with C1. Then it starts adding with the C2, right? A1, B1 with C2, and so on up to what? A4, B4 with the C2. So this is uh, how we join the two tables. So canonical join is basically the Cartesian product because we do not have a, any condition on which we, will, we would like to join so it starts multiplying everything with everything okay so we get a big table n cross m so it's of no use because uh, it's only done if we do not have any uh, such thing in very uh, rare cases but maximum times we would like to join the two tables on some condition right and at that time we would like to manipulate our table but here we will get a big table because uh, our tables will not be like this it's, it's very simplified version we have here two uh, two columns here is it two sorry two tuples here single column uh, so here we have four only imagine if we have here 100 and here we have 100 and they have 10 and 10 attributes so how big we get a table here isn't it that will be so big that it may not fit in a RAM so uh, this the, this thing will be avoided this thing we need to avoid because uh, this, will, this will create a shortage of memory because it will be so huge uh, it, because when you say database means we, our tables are big so when our big tables big data you do canonical or Cartesian join it will create a problem right so better we go to the next join that is the theta join the theta join introduces some condition it introduces some condition that we have some condition on 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 which we will join now we have the second thing is the theta join theta join the theta here is basically some operator it is less than it could be greater than it could be less than equaled greater than equaled or equaled so we will we will join two tables but on some condition on some we have some condition there say for example where department id is equal to something 
where department ID of uh, this table is equal to department ID of another table. For example, we have a table here, right? <coughs> this is the uh, maybe employee table, and this is my staff or my faculty. So faculty table, right? Both have name and salary. For example, this guy also has name and salary, or some other other attributes also maybe. I want to join the two tables where salary of employee is greater than the salary of faculty. So theta that becomes greater than. So join condition is shown by like this. Remember. So I'm trying to join employee with the faculty. And I'm saying th theta here is that uh, salary of employee. Think, sure? Employee dot salary, okay, should be greater than what else? Faculty dot salary. This is my theta here. Okay, I am joining on the basis of some condition. So it will not start joining everybody with everybody. It only join those guys where this condition satisfies. You getting me? Where this condition satisfies, it joins those two tables. If the condition doesn't satisfy, it will it will not it will have null. If there there will be no such attribute where the salary of employee is greater than the salary of faculty, for example, faculty salary is greater than the employee salary, all employees, then what will be the resultant? It will be a null table. There will be nothing in it. So Cartesian products start joining everything with everything and uh, your theta join will start showing the um, join on the basis of some condition. That condition we have to write here. And the theta doesn't mean these these two guys, theta means here this operator. What operator you are put in. And if this operator is, is equal to the same thing, the theta join will be called as the equijoin. Get me? Nothing that you are saying that employee salary is equal to faculty dot salary. Right? So is equal you are saying. So if you are saying is equal, you automatic this this is same theta join and this will become as say I'm saying that is it is it is, is equal the condition is, is equal that employee dot salary is equal to faculty dot salary. The same thing becomes equijoin. So what my question is that equijoin is also a theta join. So we have only two kinds of joints, right? We have read up to only two kinds of joints. One is the Cartesian join, it doesn't see anything, just joins every everything with everything. And we have a theta join. A theta join means where we can have some condition, and condition can be any condition out of these, right? We can have conditions out of these, any condition. But if special type of theta join is the equijoin where we have only this condition is equal to, right and the fourth one which I am saying is what is called as the natural join right the fourth one is the natural join natural join is nothing but equijoin only thing is that listen if if equijoin starts joining the table like for example let us make some example has node got some example okay let's make it yes what is there A natural join has got some example what is that example name let me see let us let's uh, put it in the note we will see no 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 worry here we go the note. We have their example, I guess. This is relational algebra. Okay. Union intersection, set difference, Cartesian product, right? If this is the Cartesian product, as you could see, C1 multiple is every even. Okay? This is how ca the canonical join does. So, 
so this is my hair my canonical join at all so in theta join I'm having what in theta join I'm having a condition uh, you could see here now I have given example of theta join also here that is the board price oh what has happened to it now if you look at it I'm the, I'm saying the condition here this, this is the condition that car price should be you know what yes car price should be greater than equal to board price um, so I am joining only those attributes if you say canonical join it will start joining car A2000 with the board 1000 1, and starts writing everything right with car A with then board 2 car A with the board 3 right then car B with the board A board 2 and board 3 then car C with this but uh, we have theta join the theta which says here that uh, we are trying to join car with the board this is the join symbol and under the join we have a condition and this is my theta less than or equal to greater than or equal to right that this is saying car price should be greater than or equal to board price that you join the two but your car price should be greater than or equal to board price you getting me so as you could see here we say car a 20,000 board 1 10,000 so this satisfies our condition is car price greater than board price so join them up right and similarly we have the car A with the car, uh, car board 2 can uh, FAS 2 will they combine no because why yes because we need to have a uh, greater than symbol which is uh, not there right let me get a little bit thickness more okay so what I'm saying is uh, car A with board 3 will they combine because it is 20,000 it is 60,000 so this will not combine so only car A will combine only with the boat 1 because here 20,000 is greater than 10,000 rest not car B will combine with again with boat 1 only because 10,000 it is 40, 60 is greater than this so car B is again combining with the boat 1 what about car C 50,000 it will combine with and board 2 because 50,000 greater than 10,000 50,000 greater than 40,000 not 60,000 so these two guys will combine with this so we have here two tuples for it car C for board 1 and board 2 this is your theta join this is your what getting me you are trying to combine the two relations on the base of but equijoin means something that the same theta join but you have the equality operator and natural join has a difference. Natural join is again equijoin. That's no difference. Same equijoin. The only thing is you can that prevalent in case of your example here. That if we do natural join, uh, equijoin of first, equijoin of these two guys, teacher, we are doing equijoin of. And I'm not writing here condition. I'm not. I'm joining employee versus department. So I'm joining employee versus department. And there is a condition on the bottom which we don't write because which is obvious, which says that employee dot department name, employee dot should be equal to department dot department name. Department is this table, and employee is your this table, right? Employee dot department name means this attribute. Department dot department department name means this attribute, right? they should be equal this is the implicit condition which we don't write we don't write it here it should have been here but we don't write it is it is uh, obvious it is there because your theta join is not a Cartesian join it will join on the base of some join attribute and the join attribute here is the department name here is also department name here is also department name so we are trying to join the two tables on the department name, what department number name is same because equal to, equijoin means equal to. but when you do equijoin what will happen is here the table will come up 
because uh, here is a finance here is the finance we got to combine them sales sales we got to combine them finance finance got to combine and production don't combine because we don't have sales and sales we got to combine right why well, department name is same so this finance will be combined with this this uh, this tuple was and this tuple will be combined and this tuple and this tuple will be combined and then sales right what about the what about the sales yes then the sales here will be combined with this sales here will be combined with this because where department employee dot department name that is sales is equal to department dot department name that is sales right so we got harry 3415 finance with the finance george right but as you could see the department name has come only once right because if we combine these two tuples we should have get this this thing because we combine these two huh so my table should get like this that harry 3415 finance from the department name then finance from the department or department and george equi join will do like that equi join will keep both department names maybe it will rename this department name as employee dot department name and this will be na uh, named as department dot department name getting me and similarly who will be combined here here we got finance okay so it will be george 3401 then finance okay and finance from this table and then the george we will have a table like that in equi join right and we will see here we have two finances one finance from the employee and one finance from the department, department right similarly we can we can have what can you tell me similarly if we combine what what, what can be combined next This so is all about finance. What can we combine next? Yes, sales. So we will have a, co a combination of sale, right? So how? Sales. This guy will combine with this table, right? With the tuple from here, tuple from here combine. So this becomes sales two two four one sales and sales and Harriet. Similarly for this guy, Harriet two two zero two. I'm talking of this table, huh? The net table. It will become Harrier two two zero two sales, sales and Harriet, right? So final table will be like this. This is my table. So we'll have in it the name, AMP ID, right? Department name of what? Employee dot department name. Then department dot department name, right? Then manager. So we have all attributes here. and as you could see employee department and department department name they're basically same here we have sales and sales or finance and is it equi join does like that but but your natural join says that this is redundant why we put the sales and sales finance and finance two times isn't it what do we cut one and keep only one that is what we have done here in this table okay because he has kept department only once not twice because it is same same equi join it is same as equi join but the difference only is that it will keep that uh, the join compatible attribute once only and equi join keeps twice so this is called natural join right so again we don't write condition on the bottom of the join condition if we say join condition here is a we should have written here the condition right below the join but we don't write it is it is implicit that what what will be condition can you tell me is equal to e equality operator is equal to getting me so we when we join we will do natural join we will not do equi join because equi join was only a con is a only a concept but what we use is a natural join we will not keep two things because it's common sense we have uh, salary here again the salary sorry sales here again sales finance why, why to keep two isn't it so when we do in our uh, later on we do carries and there we use the natural join only so uh, what this actually means here is a natural join right okay so is natural join a theta join 
Yes, because here theta is equal to equal. Then there is a semi join. Okay. Again, this is a, this is again a type of a you know um, theta join where the equality operator is there, right? Like like an equijoin. Equijoin itself is a theta join, and semi join is itself like an equijoin, same as equijoin. But the only thing is we retain things only from one table, not from the second table. What here we did, we retain uh, when, where the match occurs, like finance, finance, sales, sales, and we start combining the two tables. Okay? But in this case, uh, if the match occurs, for example, sales and sales is here, finance, finance is there, finance, sales is there, we retain only this table. So semi join of this will have this as an answer because we have all the matches here. Are you getting me? Uh, production is not there, right? But uh, here we don't have anything which is not here. So they are all common, finance, sales and production, that's all here. So we have only finance, sales, finance, sales here. So to retain the from the table A, left side table, everything which has a match in a table on the right side. You getting me? Any confusions, you tell me. So what is semi join doing here, as you could see? And semi join has a symbol like this as you as you can see here. Means retained only from this side. Don't retain from this side. So when it does, as you can see here, sales and production has. Right? And here we have sales and production here, right? So it will final table will have agar, agar to kya aata? it will join this with the sales in Harriet. And Harriet 202 production with this, right? So final our answer is sales 2241 Sally it is Sally 2241 then sales okay because sales here again sales and Harriet is this natural join equal join equal join natural join don't retain two keep it once and um, then production or production be common enough so what will that Harriet double two zero two production. production only once if it is natural join and then Charles right but what semi join does is he says don't retain things from this side don't retain this this side okay we don't need them we need only from this table employee table things from the employee table only where there is match but do not have same thing as if you join but don't write the right table, things from the right table, just keep the left table only. So as you could see, here we got Sally, 2 to 4 on sales and Harriet, 2 to 0 to production. You get it? Any questions? And what is left out? You tell me, if I have done, done a semi-join of these two tables, what is left out? You see, this table mein kaun sa baj gaya? ये फाइनेंस ये फाइन से प्रोडक्शन बच गया और एंटर जॉइन जो है वो इन्हीं को लेता है जो सेमी जॉइन में बचते हैं एंड एंटर जॉइन टेक्स देम व्हिच इज व्हिच व्हिच डजंट कम इन अ इन अ सेमी जॉइन एंटर जॉइन टेक्स द थिंग्स फ्रॉम द टेबल लेफ्ट राइट व्हिच डू नॉट हैव अ मैच सो व्हाट विल बी इन अ एंटर जॉइन इन अ फाइनल प्रोडक्ट फाइनल टेबल That will be Harry three four one five finance. Then George three four zero finance and Harriet two two zero production. Sure? No. So Harry and George only will come because they are the mismatches, right? Good. So this is what anti join does. Okay. Is this anti join of these two guys? Sales and production has a common, so don't to take these two guys, which has a which has a match here because sales and production, right? And take these two guys. That's what was the final product here, right? But don't take from the again, don't take from the right table, huh? And it is shown by like this. You do the anti join. What is the symbol of semi join? Right? 
good then one more thing was left that's a division operation division operation is very important in an when we do the uh, relational algebraic queries because division operation what does division operator is there's a mix up also on your notes so better you just see we have this is our relation okay but you can do division only if this relation which you are trying to divide into this relation should be the subset of this ठीक है जैसे अगर आप uh, 20 को डिवाइड करोगे 2 से ये डिवाइड होगा क्योंकि 20 2 इज अ पार्ट ऑफ 20 इज अ सबसेट ऑफ 20 इज इट इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ 20 और व्हाटएवर इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ 20 यू कैन डू दैट लाइक दैट इट शुड बी इफ r2 यहां पे b है वो b ऑलरेडी यहां पे है एंड वी हैव टेकन फ्रॉम दैट b1 एंड b2 इज इट इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक आप एक r2 रख रहे हो रिलेशन जिसके अंदर आप c रख रहे हो क्या रख रहे हो दिस विल नॉट डिवाइड इनटू इट बिकॉज़ दिस इज नॉट अ सबसेट ऑफ दिस C तो इनमें है नहीं सबसे यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड राइट दैट मीन शुड भी अंडर दिस एट्रीब्यूट यहीं से होना चाहिए कोई तो अब अगर मैं R2 को डिवाइड कर रहा हूँ इस रिलेशन से द डिविजन सेज गेट ऑल दो स्टापल्स फ्रॉम दिस R1 जो मैच करते हैं दोनों के साथ B1 के साथ भी B2 के साथ भी बोथ एंड दंट्री ऑल्सो इन 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 सी रिलेशन एल क्यूरीज वैन यू सी समथिंग लाइक बोथ और विद दीज विद ऑल ऑफ दीज then it means division so what we are saying is get me all, all the a's from here because when the b and b they, this will cut off final result will be a the table final table we will get a relation that will have a only in it so sirf wo wale aap retain karo jo ki dono b1 and b2 ke sath dono ke sath jinka ye hoga combination hoga if you see a1 here Now, if you see a1, now tell me a1, a1 किस के साथ है b1. इतना ही नहीं चलेगा a1 वन तब लेकिन बी टू के साथ भी है तो ये बी टू के साथ भी है दोनों के साथ है ना तो a1 वन विल बी आंसर फर्स्ट ए वन मेरे को आंसर आए आंसर में a1 वन आएगा फिलहाल ठीक है अच्छा a2 क्या a2 b1 के साथ है हाँ है क्या a2 b2 के साथ है क्या नहीं है तो a2 नहीं ले सकता मैं ठीक है क्योंकि दोनों के साथ होना चाहिए क्योंकि मेरे पास B1 वन एंड बी रिलेशन है जो बंदा इन दोनों के साथ होगा उनको लेना है गेडिंग मी अच्छा A3 A3 किसके साथ है फिलहाल B1 के साथ है क्या A3 B B2 के साथ है हाँ है यहाँ पे सो आई कैन टेक A3 थ्री एज इस कुर्सी इसने A1 लिया है A3 लिया है तो A4 फोर किसके साथ है B2 के साथ लेकिन ये क्या होना चाहिए लेकिन है नहीं क्या लेंगे हम अच्छा ए फाइव किसके साथ है B1 के साथ तो ये भी नहीं लेंगे क्योंकि B2 के साथ सो फाइनल आंसर विल बी A1 वन एंड ए ये आपका रिजल्टेंट है ये आपका रिलेशन था जो आपने डिवाइड इन टू क्या है ये आपके R2 ये आपका R1 ठीक है ये R1 है और ये आपका R2 है यू गेटिंग मी ओके Okay, now we take the another relation, and you tell me what should be the answer. Without looking at the note, you should be able to answer. अच्छा, अब हमारी relation R three जो है, वो B one है खाली, वो B one है खाली. तो यानी कि जो भी बंदा B one के साथ है, वो लेना है. B one के साथ कौन कौन है? चलिए देना. ए वन भी है बी वन के साथ ए टू भी बी वन के साथ है ए थ्री बी वन के साथ है ए फाइव भी बी वन के साथ है तो ये सारे बंदे यहाँ पे आएंगे इफ यू गुड सी हेयर ए वन ए टू ए थ्री एंड ए फाइव दिस इज दिस इज योर दिस इज योर आर टू नॉट आर थ्री आर थ्री आपका ये है ठीक है अब बिकॉज आर थ्री मीन्स आर वन डिवाइड बाई आर टू यहाँ पे आर थ्री ये है है ना ये आर टू था ये आर वन और हमने डिवाइड किया आर थ्री इन दोनों को डिवाइड किया तो आर्थ निकला ठीक है अच्छा अबे कहां से आ गया है इसका कहां पे है पहले ये देखते हैं अब आर टू जो हमारा है उसमें ए है 
क्या है और कुछ नहीं बरा इसमें कुछ नहीं ना है तो वॉट विल बी आर थ्री अगर यहां पे ए है तो आंसर में क्या आएगा बी अगर यहां बी था तो आंसर में क्या आता ए तो बी नहीं लेना फिर ए वाले लेने जो ए वाले बी के साथ रिलेट है वो बताने हैं ठीक है यहां पर भी आपको बी वाले थे तो ए वाले आंसर में अब यहां ए वाले हैं तो बी वाले आंसर में होंगे अब लेकिन ए में तो कोई मैंने लिखा नहीं अंदर दैट मीन्स ये सारा लेगा जितना भी मेरे पास है वो सब आएगा विदाउट रिपीटिंग फ्रॉम द बी राइट बी वन बी टू एंड ओनली बी वन बी टू इज दर बी थ्री ऑल्सो देर इज नो आई एम नॉट सींग एनी बी थ्री इन इट राइट मे बी देर इज सम बी थ्री ऑल्सो से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके ऑन द डाउन साइड मे बी देर इज सम बी थ्री ऑल्सो से विद ए फोर देर इज बी थ्री नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ द ए हैज नथिंग इन इट इट विल टेक ऑल फ्रॉम वेयर फ्रॉम द बी इट विल टेक ऑल बीज अच्छा मुझे ये बताओ अगर बी में कुछ नहीं है तो ए सारे आएंगे ए वाले सारे आएंगे विदाउट रिपीटिंग अच्छा अगर जरा ये बताओ अगर बी में मेरे पास अगर बी जो है मेरे अगर यहाँ पर आर टू जो मेरा है मेरी मान लीजिए आर टू ये है आर टू ये उसमें बी वन भी है बी टू भी है बी थ्री भी है वॉट विल बी फ्राम द ए वन बिकॉज वी विल गेट ए आंसर में ए आएगा ना लेकिन कौन आएगा पहले कॉन्सेप्ट के हिसाब से बताओ हु शुड कम ऑल ऑफ द थ्री बी वन बी टू बी थ्री है ना तो तीनों के साथ कौन है अगर ए फोर को आप देखोगे ए फोर के चांस बनते हैं शायद ए फोर बी थ्री के साथ है ना बाकी बंदा तो कोई बी थ्री के साथ नहीं है इसलिए उन लोगों का तो चांस ही नहीं ना ए वन ए टू ए थ्री ए ए फाइव उनका चांस ही नहीं क्योंकि वो बी थ्री के साथ है नहीं अगर वो बी टू बी टू और बी वन के साथ होंगे भी तो कोई बात बनती नहीं अब ए फोर बी थ्री के साथ है ए फोर बी टू के साथ है लेकिन ए फोर बी वन के साथ नहीं है सो वॉट विल बी द रिजल्ट रिजल्ट विल बी लाइक दिस फ्रॉम द ए नथिंग राइट नो गेटिंग गुड and likewise this is i think uh, all for this okay so now we go to the relational algebraic queries this will be our next topic